11.01 p.m. Everyone please rise for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. left in our um, $15,000 maintenance cap funds. Um, there are some call outs, but we knew that during the contract negotiations that there was a trade off. We we're going to kind of roll the dice, if you will. In the last two years, we've been good. This year, unfortunately, with all the rain, snow, it's hitting us a little bit. Did so, you say you have no money left? No, we still oh, have okay. money. Right, uh, approximately $2,100, and we still have just the month of June left. Again, we roll that money into next year if we don't use it that's the way it's been for many years. Um, we do have some call outs, so we will be paying for them as we agreed in the contract. But I think if you look back at when we negotiated the contract, they could have inflated the price more and we would have not had call outs, we would have been paying for stuff we didn't utilize. So I think we ended up doing the best for the village of Armada, even though now there's a little bit of money going out. I think in the long term, over the five year contract, it was better for us to go this route. Uh, I didn't see any, I mean, flows are high. Everybody knows that we've had a lot of rain. We've had some power outages. It's just part of having a sewer plan. Mm -hmm. So I didn't have anything there. Can I still talk or? Okay, Chuck did give me um, uh, uh, a letter referencing the one pump that I've been talking to you about. He was getting quotes. Um, Madam President, can I have that put on the agenda for next meeting? I know we're early, but before I forget, I will give it to Michelle and make a motion. Um, Kennedy came in with the price, and he ended up getting another company to bid on a, a different product, which I'd like to try because they do have, um, it's supposed to grind the rag products much better. And it's worth a shot because we also have that problem at the lift station. So it might be good to test it at the plant that we have pump one, pump two, and pump three, so we have a, two backups, and see if it works, then we might want to switch them at the lift station also. So if I can put that on the agenda, I'd like to make a motion to purchase one. It was in our repairs and maintenance account, or capital account, I forget where I had put it. I will let you know next meeting, okay? But I missed getting that to you in time for this meeting. That was mine and Chuck's fault. But we still have two running, so it's not a big deal. All right. That's all I have. Does anyone have any questions for Mr. Stewart? Any questions? Hearing none, any other commissioner liaison reports at this time? Hearing none, we'll move on. Under general business, the first thing is our consent agenda. We have the approval of the regular council meeting minutes of June 9th, 2014, payment of bills, and a special event permit application for our Mada High School Theater Department. Anything anyone would like to remove? Or is there a motion at this time? Madam President, I'll move to approve the consent agenda as presented. Motion by Mr. Audi. Is there a second? Support. Support by Mr. Ballard. Any other discussion? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, nay. Motion carried. We have no old business tonight. Moving into new business. First agenda item is agreement between Township and Village for East Main Street Project. Are there any public comments? Any public comments? 
Hearing none, Mr. Ballard, is your agenda item. Thank you, Madam President. On the on May the 21st, um, we met with the township in West Virginia. It's uh, uh, Michelle and Andy and myself went over the township to give them uh, an idea of what their cost is going to be for each Main Street project. We had in hand uh, the attached in, in your packet, the attached agreement that was drafted by Jeff. And um, uh, we explained to them what it was going to be, and the township portion of that is going to be $44,496. We did come back with a signed copy of the agreement, and everything seems to be going there. On the following Monday, I met with the Armada Fair Board, and I told the Fair Board what we were doing, and I told them approximate cost that, as that was presented by uh, Andy uh, from uh, Hubble, 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 Hubble. Thank you, Hubble, Roth, and Clark. And um, they did not make a decision right then. They said that they would have a decision for us by December, which I can understand why they did that, because just hitting them with it, they're going to want to come and talk to me again. They want me to come down and talk to me again. So now, that was for the approaches on the sidewalk? The approaches on the sidewalk, correct. I did find out that the next sidewalk, or the next approach down, was not owned by the fair board. It was owned by uh, Esther. Uh, Esther English. So that was part of the old Pincus property down there. And um, so I'm going to go talk to Esther and see what she wants to do. I do not expect that she'll want to pay for that. <laughs> but uh, she does have a paved one in front of her her home there, there it is paved up, like where the sidewalk would be. So we're going to be uh, including that in the township price. Okay, that's all I have. Thank you. Are there any questions for Mr. Ballard? Hearing none. Thank you so much, Mr. Ballard. Sure. Moving on to the next agenda item, it's a proposed millage rate. Are there any public comments? Any public comments? Hearing none. Treasurer Adair, this is your agenda item. Okay, this is not actually a proposed notice rate. This will be the adoption of the notice rate. So we did do that. Yeah. Just so that we clarify that we're not quoting that we're adopting. Um, you have in front of you the same forms, the L4029 from the county and the resolution to adopt the 2014 tax amendment. We have a heavily rollback of 0.9988. <coughs> Excuse me. For our rollback fraction, and if anybody wants to read the, I got the uh, resolution for either motion. We have to do general first, and then municipal street, correct? Yes. Okay. Anyone would like to start with the general? Please. Madam President, I so move that the village rate to be levied by the treasurer for the tax year 2014 for operating the general fund be levied at the reduced rate of 9.4560 mills in compliance with the Headley 2014 reduction factor of 0.9988, section NCL 21134D. Motion by Mr. Ballard, is there a second? Support. Support by Mr. Clark, any other discussion? It's MCI. Is it okay to change it to MCI? No, I, M yeah, I did say MCI, didn't I? You said MCI. Yeah. Oh, MCI, I'm sorry. Is that okay MCI. by you to make yeah. that change, Mr. Miller? Is yes, that okay, absolutely. Mr. Clark? Yes, it is. Okay. It's now a roll call vote. Okay. Any other discussion? Joe, we roll back. We have to roll back. Is that correct? Because I thought at one time we talked about not rolling back anymore. The only way you're not going to roll back is with a, uh, a truth and taxation hearing and possibly an uh, election on the knowledge depending on how, how okay. high up you want to increase. Okay. I know we keep talking about not doing that. And I keep telling you, you got to get with me earlier in the year, like okay. right before budget even, if you want to do that, because this is a factor that went into the budget. So. Maybe next year if we do, maybe have like a checklist. I know, Okay. you know, how much would it save us for um, additional revenue and how, how involved is the meeting? Just to not even roll back. At some point, we have to. Stop. You can't always roll back, right? Right. right. Otherwise, you're going to be at zero. Right. Well, this is the same rate we're being taxed this year. No. Right. No. Look at your you sheet. You rolled back. Put the page. You were at mm -hmm. nine point four six seven four in 2013. Okay. I see. Yeah. It's nine five six zero. 
But there's sure not much difference. No, there. the whole the whole change in the entire um, millage levy yeah. will be well, zero point four, four, six, four six, six zero. Mm -hmm. yeah. Any other discussion? Is a roll call, please? There's just um, you haven't Clark. really given nothing up there. Yes. <laughs> That's okay. Well, Mark. Um, Ballard. Yes. Cooper. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Audi. Yes. Conan. Yes. Wolak. Yes. Motion passes. Next one is the municipal street fund. <coughs> yes. Um, I so move that the millage rate to be levied by the treasurer for the tax year 2014 for operating the municipal street fund be levied at the reduced rate of 3.7822 mills in compliance with the Headley 2014 reduction factor of 0.9988, section MCI 211.34D. Motion by Mr. Conan. Is there a second? Support. Support by Mr. Ballard. Any other discussion? There's a roll call vote. Conan? Yes. Ballard? Yes. Wolak? Yes. Audi? Yes. Clark? Yes. Stewart? Yes. Cooper? Yes. Motion passes. And as always, uh, the clerk and the uh, treasurer will be signing the certification of compliance with section 31 of Article 9 of the State Constitution of 1963 and get that signing back to the county tomorrow. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Moving on to the next agenda item, it's the telephone equipment panel relocation. Are there any public comments? Any public comments? Hearing none, Village Clerk, this is your agenda item. Um, <coughs> okay, our phone system is um, the, uh, I'm sorry, can't do two things at once. Um, the, the, the panel for the phone system is located for some odd reason in the police evidence room. So when we need to have work done on our phone system, Howard has to be here, or Jimmy has to be here, because they're the only two that have the keys to the evidence room. Which is always locked. Which is always locked. <laughs> They also have to be on hand while somebody's in there, in there with them, so no evidence gets looked at. So we need to move that panel. So we had um, this telephone support systems come out, and um, they gave us a quote of six hundred and forty-six dollars to move the panel out of that room into a more accessible spot. So I am asking for council's. Um, Unless to any of so. you decide that we're never going to lose power here in our meeting. Yeah, ever again. So, so. because that, you know, it, it, <laughs> it doesn't, doesn't, it happen, doesn't happen often, but it happens often enough that More we really need to relocate it. We'd like. What are you going to relocate it to? Um, you know what, I'm not exactly sure. Maybe into, maybe just over on the other side of the wall, because the other side of the wall is like the police, um, the changing area that, that they're in. And maybe the garage I have access to that, or maybe the garage. Some are still on that end. We're not going to move it, you know, Probably very take far. their advice as to where yeah, the most where appropriate needs to go. place would be. That wasn't included in the quote as to how far they're going to be moving it. No, they, I, yeah. I don't know. It Actually, can't be far true. because they have technician labor hours of four hours, so it's not going to be very far. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's. I mean, it's it's here. The walls here. <laughs> the other side of the door is here, so it's not like it's that. You know. Mm -hmm. It's just something that needs to be done. Anyone have any questions? Well, I'll move myself for the resolve to accept the quote from the telephone support systems incorporate to move to relocate the person phone system panel for a cost not to exceed six hundred and forty six dollars. Motion by Mr. Wallach. Is there a second? Support. Support by Mr. Ballard. Any other discussion? That's another roll call, please. Wallach. Yes. Taylor? Yes. Sturrett? Yes. Clark? Yes. Audi? Yes. Cooper? Yes. Kona? Yes. Motion passes. Thank you. Thank you. Upcoming agenda items, we have the sewer pump purchase. Is there anything else anyone would like to add for an upcoming agenda item? Anything anyone would like to add? Hearing none, any other citizen comments? Yes, Mr. Galecki. 
Okay, um, so I'm here uh, on behalf of the, the Trailhead Project. So I want to, I'd like to give you an update and to ask some approvals. So first, uh, as you probably all know, uh, we've created 22 parking places. Uh, the um, these parking areas are uh, crushed limestone, curb stop or used railroad ties. Uh, we put in four uh, park benches, four maple trees next to the park benches, uh, and there's two uh, tables by two of the benches, so with the table by um, one table by two benches. I'm hoping to put two more tables in. Uh, the uh, bricks, so that's kind of how I'm financing this thing is by selling bricks. Uh, they're at the engravers. Uh, I got somebody to install the bricks once they come back and then we're going to put limestone underneath the benches so that uh, the grass doesn't grow up and look kind of nasty. And um, Then uh, I have enough money to build one bike rack and um, about a little bit money, uh, money to start on my second bike rack. So I'm still looking for money, but I'm here tonight to kind of let you know where I was because uh, I'm doing it through the guise of the village. Um, I purchased a railroad's crossing sign, the, the sign with the lights and the X uh, when they dismantled the trail. Um, so I purchased that from the, the dismantlers. Um, I'd like to put that sign up, but I called up the railroad and they said that I couldn't put it up. But that is, I couldn't put it up in the right of way. So what I'd like to do is put it on that park area, but I just move it away from the road uh, move it far and then turn it 90 degrees so you don't see it from the road unless you're you know looking right down the trail so people at from the trail would see it but I'd like to put it up so um, so I kind of like approval to do that and then the other thing is signage so this started by me looking out my window and seeing a need and uh, a gentleman by the name of Walt Boris who most of us know uh, he came to me and he had a couple of signs that he wanted to put up by the trail. So when he wanted somebody to kind of put them up, so he made them. But So I took those to the trail commission way back when. So the first one was a uh, aluminum case double swinging glass doors. So that was supposed Which to have... still have in here, by the way. Okay. So that was supposed <laughs> to have kind of a map of Armada and the businesses in Armada. Um, and the Trail Commission said, absolutely not. They wouldn't allow us to do that. I said, come on, we're going to put in who paid for the trail, blah, blah, blah. No, they couldn't have, we couldn't have, any of that would be advertising. We couldn't do that because the Trail Commission has their own advertising program. So they said no. Um, excuse me. So the second thing he had was a um, kind of aluminum frame with a hand-painted kind of, excuse me, um, nice, painting. Uh, it doesn't really depict Armada, but it's kind of a, a nice thing of a small small town. So I'd like to put that into my sign if I could. Um, and the sign that I want to do will read um, McComb Orchard Trail, Armada Parking and Rest Area. So and then I kind of like to just put his thing, incorporate that into it. And so when I talked to the Trail Commission way back when, and I haven't been to a meeting for a long time because quite frankly they weren't very easy to deal with, but I told them I would match the signage to match what they did. I said that everything I did would match what they did. So when we've done that, I mean, if you look at our, by our benches, they're the same as theirs, only they're built back. <laughs> well, they are, they're, they're, theirs are, are press metal and ours are structural steel. So, you know, and they're both powder coated. Um, so, um, uh, so what do you think? Well, we're not. We can't do a motion. It's no. just in comments. So, have to come back to the next. If you need a formal approval, we would have to take it to the next meeting. Oh, that, that's fine. So, I'm, I'm not going to be that fast to do anything. I just wanted to let you know where I was and what my next steps were, and because uh, it, quite frankly, the. The sign I've had for years, uh, the railroad crossing sign, and it doesn't look so good anymore. So I got to fix it. So that and the other sign, I've got to get somebody to make it. So once I kind of, and if you want, I could kind of 
everybody knows what that railroad crossing sign is going to look like. But the sign that, you know, the Armada crossing or the Mar Armada trail sign, I can kind of bring something in once I find somebody to make it. And I'll, I'm hoping to have some of the pavers in by either mid-July or end of July. So I'm hoping to get two or three benches done this year. I don't want to get the fourth bench done until next year because I don't have all the money. How do people go about getting brick papers? Um, well, uh, it, when I first started, I was working with the um, Friends of the Macomb Orchard Trail. But kind of through the IRS targeting thing, they lost their tax exempt status uh, because they had friends in their name. Um, conservative. So, uh, so it, it, it used to be that you'd send money into them, you'd get the tax exempt thing, and then they would give the money to me. So now it's just easier to give me the money. But there's no, uh, there's no tax exempt thing, and there never was because they lost it, and they kind of count, they let everybody know that contributed that there was no thing. So uh, really, the money just kind of goes to me. And I mean, is there a form you're having people fill out? I don't have one. Okay. Um, How much are they? It's a hundred dollars a brick, uh, and they're. Uh, um, what I'm doing is uh, there's going to be 50 bricks in front of. Uh, there's four benches. There's going to be 50 bricks in front of each of the four benches. They're going to be 10 across and five high, and then there's going to be a different colored brick border all the way around them. So when you sit it on the bench and you're looking there for something to read, you're going to read. Okay. This Somebody, you know, somebody's name. So, and can we put this on the next? Uh, the yeah, will you have the information for the next agenda, or did you want to come? Um, well, it, the the only, um, I don't know what what information would you like. Well, you said you're gonna have someone draft up a little sign or what the sign. Sure, like. I, I I hope I don't know if I have that for the next meeting. It might take first. I got to find somebody to do it, and then I got to find somebody that will do it, kind of like not charge me a whole lot. Okay. So and then they would get a brick or two, you know. Okay. So <laughs> anybody out there if they are can do yeah, sign like the part sign. For me, I will put it on channel six. Yeah. But then I have a question for you too. The railroad crossing is that actually going to be considered a sign or something ornamental? Well at this point in time it wouldn't be it would be ornamental because it's no longer going to have electricity and it's not going to flash and, it doesn't and, and it's not there's no railroad so it's not a sign for anything so it's more of an antique thing and then this is my big wish this is my long-term wish <laughs> so you know everybody's got a sorry Dave you know that I get a little long-winded but um, uh, Lance Howick from the village of our, from Armada Grain uh, once he gets his building sided he's consented to allow us to put up a mural. I'd love to put a mural up, but that's going to entail that I finish this project and get quite a bit more money. Uh, and if I get to that point, then I'd like to um, kind of petition artists and then come up with their ideas. But my, I, my start of an idea is it's going to depict an old railroad, old bicycles, and kind of uh, uh, progress into the future. and. So it's not really going to have anything about Armada. It's not really going to have anything about uh, uh, businesses. It's just going to be the rails to trails type thing. So rails and bicycles and people walking. Sounds great. Sounds good. Though. So Lance couldn't put up on his own building a mural of downtown, and I, obviously businesses change. So I mean, you wouldn't want to put that in there, but wouldn't he be allowed to do that on his own building? Yes, yes, so I don't have that, that didn't have to go to the Trail Commission. So everything that I pretty much said, I told the Trail Commission I was going to do. I said I was going to do the parking spaces with the, with the bumpers, I said I was going to do the benches, I said I was going to do the trees, and the trees are, are were put out, and if you kind of look at them, they've really done pretty good this year. They, they've filled out, uh, there's uh, um, uh, rocks around it and mulch. Uh, uh, um, and I said I was going to do that, I said I was going to do the bike racks, um, and I told him about the railroad sign. And I told him that I wanted to have a sign just saying that, because some people, there's a lot of people that park there now, but there's some people that don't. Right. So I still think that they don't, you know, they need to sign the designated that this is trail yeah. parking. Yeah. Now is a mural treated different than a sign? Oh yeah, sure. Yeah, because that wouldn't even, 
yeah. I, I don't. Sure we don't. Well, I guess you know we have to. You know, when we get to that point, you know, and again, that's that's way down the road, and that's that's you know, been kind of in a pipe dream thing. But uh, if it does happen, you know, then we'll come to you and kind of say, okay, look, this is kind of what we got in mind. You know, what do we got to do to facilitate it? Do we have anything set up in planning for murals? Like a, a building? Yeah, I don't remember some of the corner buildings, what if they wanted to put a mural on the side? Like some of the towns up north, Grayling and yeah, a few others, they have big murals on some of the corner buildings. I just there wonder if the Candace shop has got the yeah, big the across yeah. that. Yeah. That were set up for it. So I, don't I, I think. I, 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 We'll check what the plan is. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, he goes to the door. Yeah. I'm not wearing that hat tonight. <laughs> All right, any other questions for Mr. Galecki? Hearing none, any other citizen comments? Do you thank want you. to introduce yourself now? Yes, thank you, Mr. Galecki. Uh, my name is Keith Mayer, and I'm a partner at Giffels Webster. Uh, I'm going to be helping Andy with uh, all the different work coming up, trying to support the village. Uh, I have a, a team of people that work for me that only have a little bit of horsepower to Andy's group. So uh, Andy's still going to be available, but uh, you'll be seeing my face once more. So I have a business card Perfect. that I can pass yes, out. Please. Thank, thank you. Call me. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hopefully thank I have enough. <laughs> Perfect counting. Does anyone have any questions for Mr. Mayor? All right, thank you so much for coming out. Any other citizen comments? Hearing none, any other council comments? Hearing none, any community events? Concerts in the park. Concerts in the park. Every Wednesday night. Acoustic uh, this Wednesday, I believe. Yep. We have rained out. Okay. We are now going to um, entertain a motion to go into closed session. We will be turning off the camera. Um, upon returning from closed session, when we make that motion, we will be turning the camera on to adjourn the meeting. Um, you have it on your statement. I gave you the exact mm -hmm. So is there anyone that would like to make the motion? The time is now 7.28, and then we can readjourn after a five-minute recess. Madam President, I'll resolve to enter into an executive session at 7.28 p.m after a five minute recess. Motion, motion by Mr. Ballard, is there a second? Support. Support by Mr. Clark, is a roll call please? Ballard? Yes. Clark? Yes. Cooper? Yes. Stewart? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Conan? Yes. And Audie? Yes. Motion is approved. We'll now have a recess. Thank you. into our meeting. Uh, the time is now 8.11. Is there a motion to adjourn the meeting? So moved. Motion by Mr. Ballard, second by Mr. Wallach. Any other discussion? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, nay. Motion carried, meeting is adjourned. Thank you. Thank you.